as long as I've been alive, there's existed a battle between what I want in the moment and what I need. And it transforms, it takes different shapes, but its impact is always felt. And so the question remains, in spite of the option to concede the temporary way out, are we willing to endure the now for a beautiful forever? Commit to that delayed gratification? Hold off just a little longer, do a little more. See, every time I hold the line, every time I refuse to give in, the victory tends to be just a little sweeter. So what is this force keeping us from greatness, this invisible, unquantifiable adversary telling us to stop, to submit, to just accept things as they are? Well, as Stephen Pressfield states in his book, The War of Art, this is resistance. The ego in disguise, it's the desire to stay the same, pushing us away from the very action Necessary to obtain what we truly want, not in the moment, but in our souls. Our true reason for being. After all, progress is happiness. So we follow this train of thought. The next logical question must be, well, can we control this enemy, this resistance? As it turns out, not only is the answer yes, but one's ability to do just that makes all the difference. We can harness that demon that lobbies so hard for the status quo. We can learn to laugh every time it throws a fit when we attempt to change ourselves, our situation, our environment. It can be told no. In fact, Pressfield states that people who live free lives have learned to master themselves. People that can't master themselves will find someone else to rule over them whether it be excuses, critics, or other outside constraints. See, the key, the answer couldn't be simpler. It's not easy, but it's simple. Show up. And as a writer, I really resonated with this, this line, the hardest part isn't writing, it's sitting down to write. It's arriving. And now life can flow through you. You're able to be that messenger that carries the divine so that it can be shared with the world, distributed to the masses. But you must first say no to that voice proclaiming that it's not important, that it doesn't matter. You must tear down the idea that you're not good enough. Walk up and sit in that metaphorical seat, whatever it is for you. Begin speaking, writing, painting, analyzing, constructing, devising, but you must sit down and begin. That is the essence of the war of art. The war that is you versus you, that resistance. Proclaiming that your next move is too little to matter. That the same is the best. But you have to see beyond what's in front of you. It's why the author is so adamant about not giving in, saying if you cave in today, you're twice as likely to cave in tomorrow. It's like talking to a telemarketer. You cave, you give an inch, and it's over. See those little decisions? The ones we're so inclined to overlook, the ones we say, eh, we'll come back tomorrow. They're insignificant. That's essentially making a hole right through the center of a dam. Eventually, the entire thing is coming down. But the good news, those same little decisions are within your grasp. You can own them, master them, and ultimately master yourself. Start by simply showing up when you don't want to because this is war. And this war, the one fought every day, is what will ultimately hand you the keys to the kingdom.